More than a year of filming of the Hobbit trilogy came to an end today, and while the project itself has been a boost for the local economy, Tourism New Zealand says visitors attracted by the Hobbit could inject another half a billion dollars into the country. Emma Jolliffe reports. At Stone Street Studios, the last day of what the industry calls pick-up filming. We're shooting scenes from, well, climactic scenes from the third film, which is due for release in December 2014. Principal filming for the three Hobbit movies took 266 days, and then there were 10 weeks of additional shooting. Bringing Tolkien's Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit to life has been a 14-year journey. Certainly the end of Tolkien, the Tolkien era. Director Peter Jackson wasn't only snowed under with filming today, he was busy blogging on Facebook, even about his cat. Fans have already been enjoying his video blogs. This is the last ditch shooting that we're doing and it's going fantastic and these are going to be great movies. Dravitsky says when a film this size is made in Wellington, much of that money is spent in Wellington. We've used 101,000 hotel room nights, 9,750 domestic flights, fairly you know, staggering statistics in terms of, um, of money spent here in the local economy. According to Tourism New Zealand, people know more about New Zealand because of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit than the All Blacks or any other factor. In the first three months of this year, 8.5% of all visitors can cite The Hobbit as an influence on their decision to choose New Zealand as their destination. The Hobbits employed 4,500 contractors, including 1,800 extras. We've shot over 1.4 petabytes of data. That's 24 million feet of film if we were shooting on film, which is the equivalent of 4,500 miles or from here to Hawaii. The second Hobbit's due out in December, likely to premiere in the United States. The third movie will premiere in December next year. Emma Jolliffe, 3 News.